entire, this is the first lesson for the first bit of your A2 maths. So we're into our second year now, and it's talking about radians. So radians is just a different way of measuring angles. You've actually come across radians in the past, uh, but you don't know it's radians at the work in it. But the idea is that 360 degrees is the same as two, oh, two pi radians, one pi of them. I was thinking about me round. Two pi rad, or two pi with a little c, but you tend to get the rad there, that's what we say. So that's it really, that's, that's the whole thing to radians, it's just that 360 degrees is the equivalent to two pi radians. Where it actually comes from is that the arc length is the same as the radius, and that creates one radian. So it says a radian is the angle subtended at the centre of a circle by an arc whose length is equal to the radius. So as long as A to B is the same as the radius, you've created one radian. And that's all it is really. So what's this asking us then? So the length of the R is one radian. If it's two R, it's two radians. Not really quite sure why I'm doing that. If it's 2 pi r, it's 2 pi radians. And you're used to 2 pi r, that was the circumference of the circle. So you've always worked in radians, because 2 pi is going round the full circle times by the radius. So there we go. Right, so there are, there are ways of working it out, but you can just watch it really. You know, if 2 pi is 360 degrees, that pi is 180, and this is the one that you want to remember, because that's the one that allows you to easily find different values. Uh, so, one radian, so if I divide through by pi, it'll be 180 divided by pi. Yeah. Right then, so it says here, convert the following angles in radians into degrees. So what I want to do, if I'm going from radians to degrees, is I want to multiply by 180 and divide by pi. That's what this bit here is leading us to. So to go from radians to degrees, I just multiply by 180 and divide by pi. So that would be like a pi over 2 times by 180 over pi. Pi's cancel gives me 90 degrees. But I can also use this idea here. So if pi is 180, pi by 2 is 90. If pi is 180, pi by 3 must be 60. If pi is 180, pi by 6 must be 30. But if you're not happy, you just multiply by 180 over pi. If pi is 180, pi by 4 must be 45. If th uh, pi is 180, 3 pi must be 3 lots of 180, which is 540. And then if pi is 180, 7 pi over 15, so if I do it properly, this one, the pi's cancel, other bits cancel down, and it gives me 84 degrees there. There we go. So that's kind of fair enough. So I can either times by 180 over pi or just think in proportions. So if I'm going backwards, I want to times by pi and divide by 180 this time. So if I've got 150 times by pi over 180. Um, oops. The 150 and the 180 cancel down, and it gives me. Let me try and move that actually. Just put it over here. Um, what does it give me? 5 pi over 6 for that. Do you, fancy, do you fancy doing these? You have a go at them quickly, and I'll double check if you've done them in class. So do these ones. So all you've got to do is just times by pi over 180. Leave it in terms of pi. So it just makes it easy. So let's do these. Check if you've done them. So 
So your calc will do it, but it's pointless because when you're in exam mode, um, you can't use it, you can't use it on your calc. So it's pointless being there, really, to be fair. Right then. So it says angles in radians and trig. So it's just the same idea, it's just a ratio, so there's no worries there. Like sine of 60 is the same as the sine of pi by 3. As long as you make the mode right, it's okay. So things we know, so 30 is going to go on, because 180 is pi, so 30 is going to be pi by 6. 180 is pi, so 90 will be pi by 2. 180 is pi, so 45 will be pi by 4. So I just keep using this idea that 180 is pi, and then just scale it around pi. So 180 is pi, so 60 is pi by 3. 360, 2 pi. Right. If you stick them in your calculator, it'll just give you a straight out. So if you put in your calculator sine of 5 by 6, it'll give you a half. So you can just do that, actually. If you make sure you're in radians, and just put these individually into your calculators and see what you get out. So do these. Check if you've done them. Next bit, I might stop this video a minute. Um, I will do So it says here, recall some common GCSE terminology. The arc is a length. We've got sector. We've got minor sectors, the small ones, and major sectors, the big ones. So the major sectors, like the Pac-Man bit. Then we've got segments, looks like a Terry's chocolate orange segment, and a chord, which joins two points. So that's what that bit is there. Right, I'm going to stop this one. Who's there? They're chatting.